November of 2012, Tromp Percussion Eindhoven will be organizing its fourth international percussion competition. In preparation of this event, Tromp organized repertoire days and masterclasses by several distinguished musicians in Shanghai, Boston and Amsterdam. Participants were offered the opportunity to study and perform with prominent percussionists. Former prize winner of Tromp, Claire Edwardes from Australia, presented a masterclass on setup and preparing for a competition in the Conservatory of Amsterdam. There's a lot that you can gain from a competition aside from the cash prizes and the accolades of, of actually winning, um, and that's obvious. It's, so every time we see this word own choice, that's obviously where you have the flexibility to show really what, what you're good at, what you can do maybe that other people can't do or that you can do better than other people. Because if you've never played with an orchestra before, of course you can't just suddenly practice that. But there are things that you can do to be as prepared as possible, like really knowing the concerto really well before the first round. But listening is, such, is the most important thing. So as long as you have your ears open, and, and actually, of course, by being as prepared as possible, that gives you the opportunity to have your ears as open as possible. Because if you're not prepared, you're not going to be focused on listening to the orchestra. You're just going to be worried about playing with the conductor and playing with Colin and all of those sorts of things. On, um, well, obviously, um, equal preparation of the repertoire, so make sure every single piece is as good as every other piece. Um, I would just say, you know, it's like anything. It's like when you're preparing for a recital, it's the same thing. It's just maybe a few more pieces. So you have to be even more organised, but have a routine, do it every day, start as early as you can uh, before the competition, obviously without burning out too early. Um, but if you do feel over-prepared, <laughs> there's not much worse that can, you know, it's, you just take a few days off and it'll, it'll be fine. As long as you're careful not to use, you know, sticks that are too heavy all the time or, you know, sort of put too much stress on your muscles here. Um, if you've got the right technique, i.e. in my view, just being quite relaxed and grounded and using your wrists and not having too much tension in your arms or anything, you know, I think not, you don't have to worry too much about that. I just it, it comes with the repertoire. It's quite heavy repertoire, so you you have to be technically up there at the, at the time of preparing for the competition. Because this one is with with a duo and an orchestra, the the best preparation would be to do ensemble ensemble playing, even some percussion duo playing, doesn't matter that it's not the same piece. But once you do have your part, then get the other part and play it with someone, you know, that, that can only help. As I said, if you're as prepared as you possibly can be, on the day of, of the first round, you might be a little bit nervous, um, but, but you'll be confident because you know you can do it. 